Welcome to the Owner's Guide V-Series with Will Rowan. Hey guys, let's talk about the Hooker Sea Chest and the V41. On this Hooker Sea Chest, we have a pickup for refrigeration. We have two Hooker 4500 pumps, and we have a pickup for our Sea Keeper. The two Hooker pumps are meant to be run individually, so one at a time. The second pump is really meant for a backup pump. With that, you're gonna to wanna to close the valve to the pump that is not running, so the water does not circulate. For the refrigeration, you're gonna to wanna to have this valve, this orange valve here open, in order for the refrigeration pump to work. On the refrigeration, the refrigeration units are air-cooled and water-cooled, so if your boat is on a lift, you can uh, run the air-cooled option. You just wanna make sure that the hatch is open where the refrigeration units are. There's an individual switch for the pump for the refrigeration. You're gonna want that on, and there's water that pumps out overboard on the port aft corner. That's gonna be your indicator that the pump is running. For the Sea Keeper, the Sea Keeper pump on this boat is in the middle. It's a red Johnson pump, and that pumps water to your Sea Keeper. If for some reason you get a a uh, high temperature alarm or a water alarm on your Sea Keeper, the first place you're going to want to go is to your sea chest to make sure that that pump is pumping. You can put your hand on it, feel a little vibration. If it's not, it may be airlocked. On top of the pump, we can go into a little more depth later on to how to unairlock that pump. Thanks for tuning in to the V-Series Owner's Guide with Will Ruin. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them.